Hi everyone. I wanted to share with you something about childhood imprints. Now, some of you may have heard my podcast on childhood imprints and how it affects our adult life. Studies show that the human mind uh, as a child is like a sponge and everything that you see, everything you hear, encounter or experience gets absorbed deep into the subconscious mind and that continues to affect us or to influence our behaviors as an adult and it does it sometimes you know in a way that we are not aware of and i teach this in my gratitude class i teach people how to identify their imprints whatever they are and to go back to that point in their childhood so that they can change the emotion that they have associated with it. Now, for those of you who don't know me, I have struggled most of my life with weight problems, um, body dysmorphia, and, all, and an obsessive dieting. <clears throat> I was never really overweight except for the two times that I was pregnant. So I kept asking myself, where did this obsession with the way my body looks came from? And due to the work that I do, I knew that it had to come from my childhood. It was an imprint that I had but I was just not able to remember the time, the how, or the who of this imprint. So you see, at some point in my life, I got the perception that my body was only acceptable if it was skinny. And that's the thing about the, the human brain. We often cannot remember things that have created such an impact in our psychic. It can be an experience, it can be a simple phrase that marks us so much that it makes such an impressionable uh, impact on our bodies and our minds that it continues to define us as adults. And today I was finally able to remember one of my imprints. I was able to pinpoint the moment that has cost me over 40 years of struggle. And the reason I wanted to share this with you is twofold. One is to hopefully inspire those of you who are listening, who have never done the work to identify your imprints and to heal them. The second, <clears throat> excuse me, is for parents. I want parents to realize how much a simple phrase can impact our child's life. It could be something that seems unimportant to you in the moment that you say it because you're unaware of how much damage it can cost your child even into their adult life. So be mindful. So here's what I discovered today about the roots of my body dysmorphia. I was young and although I had always been skinny, now I remember that indeed there was a time in my childhood where I gained a lot of weight and I was walking on the street of Chinandega, a city in Nicaragua where I lived and my father was walking behind me, maybe half a block or a block behind me. So I didn't know that he was behind me and he didn't know that I was ahead of him. But when he finally was able to catch up to where I was, obviously his steps were quicker than mine. He said to me, you're not gonna believe this. I was getting out of the restaurant and I looked far ahead of me and I saw a fat girl. And I said to myself, my girl, that little girl is fat and now I see that it was you and I don't know what I said to my father at that time because I was just a child but what I do remember is the emotion that I attached to that moment to that phrase 
You see, my brain took a snapshot of that experience and it became such a painful memory that my brain blocked it to protect me. The emotion that I attached to that event was shame. I was so ashamed of my body and the way I looked. And yes, it happened when I was 10 years old, but I have carried this my whole life, not ever knowing where my acceptance for my body became so conditional on me being skinny. And although I was never anorexic, I did have an eating disorder most of my adult life. And so that's all it took, one phrase, to imprint my life with a lot of pain. So I caution anyone who's listening, who is a parent, to be mindful of the things we tell our children. You see, my father loved me. That's no question about that. But had he known, had he been conscious or even educated about childhood imprints and the damage he would have been causing me, I believe in my heart that he would have never said it. And that's why I'm telling you this story so that you as a parent can become aware. It's not that we want to hurt our children, not at all. It's just that as parents, we are often unconsciously parenting. You have to understand that for a child, there is nothing more powerful and believable than what a parent does and say. And it has taken me over five years of a lot of spiritual and internal work to finally break the cycle and to learn to love my body regardless of, the, of what the scale says. So I hope that my story has taught you something and that it inspires you to look within so that you can heal your imprints. If you have any questions, I'm always available on social media and I look forward to helping you with your imprints. Thank you so much. Walaska. Well,